an apple. It definitely gets That's like just an for apple. eating. Yeah. Hey guys, welcome to the Elite Daily Show. I'm Rose. I'm Gabby. And today, I got something kind of scary in the mail. <laughs> oh, a final notice that you haven't paid your student loans? Yeah. I got that too. But also, I got my first wedding invitation. Ah! Rose, get down, run away, run away. Oh, the worst thing in the world. Gabby, no, out. Wedding season! <gasps> the hell? Your first wedding? Not only your first wedding, your first Friend wedding, Elite Daily had an article, seven unwanted realizations you have when one of your friends gets hitched. It's a huge deal. I, mean, I guess, if you say Do so. Do you even have a plan? Okay, well, I'm, uh, you know, I checked and I'm available this weekend, so I, I guess I was just gonna like, RSVP. Yes, mm -hmm. the rookie mistake. There's so many unanswered questions. Do you need to get a plane ticket, a rental car? How much is the bachelorette party gonna cost? The bridal shower, all of these things cost money. You have to make a budget what? and you have to stick to it. Okay. Also, let's talk wardrobe. Do you know what the bridesmaids are wearing so you don't wear that color? Also, did the bride provide you with a wedding Pinterest mood board for reference? Gabby, do you have a wedding Pinterest mood board? <laughs> don't be ridiculous. Of course I do. Still single? Mm, I don't understand the question. Okay, well, I don't have like a gown lying mm -hmm. around, but I do know that there are websites like rentalrunway.com and theblacktux.com mm -hmm. for guys that let you rent designer formal wear for cheap. So Great. I'll probably just. Do so just send like me that. your top 15 for approval. No. Okay. Also, registry. It's a race oh, to get yeah. the cheapest gift possible. So you got to get on that. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Well, I was thinking of just what about some cash money? You could do <laughs> yeah. that if you know the bride and groom really well, or if you're bringing a date, you have to bring more cash, or if it's a oh. Destination wedding, then you could bring less, and you have a year to give a gift. Oh my god, I'm, I just really didn't know there were so many rules. Mm, I, darling, yes, wedding season, it's survival of the fittest. It's the perfect place to meet a husband. I know, because I've been to so many. Still single, Gabby? Mm. I don't understand the question. Yeah. So Rose, I know you've been freaking out about wedding season. Well, I was feeling fine until I talked to you, and now I am terrified. Yes, I'm a little intense, but you know what? Don't worry about it, because I have an expert for you. We have Jason Ree of The Refined Company, and Hello. he can answer any of your questions. Uh, Hello. Thank God you're here. Okay, so what do you do? How do you help a couple plan a wedding? I do full-service wedding event planning, so I help, you know, you find the perfect venue to con coming up with the concept and design and actually coordinating and executing the day. Are there little known facts about weddings, being a wedding guest that some people don't know? For the couple, a uh, big thing I think that I always talk to my brides about is seeing each other before the big day. But if you look into the tradition, it's actually from when uh, weddings were arranged, and oh. so they didn't want you to see the bride in case that she wasn't So ready. it's not bad luck, it's no. tradition. It's no. old school. Yeah, it's old school, but it's a, it's a really fun tradition. What should you splurge on for a wedding? Photography, photography yeah. and cinematography is huge. Oh, that makes sense. And yeah, you yeah. want to remember it. Of course, and that's yeah. like the one thing that you always look back on. You can have a little book right here. Mm. What should you save on? I think alcohol is a big thing, mm. and I know we all love a drink, However, you can abbreviate the liquor menu and kind of be smarter with your budget that yeah. way. Now, from a guest perspective, what mm. are things that you think guests should splurge on and save on in terms of like getting there, like you know, gifts that we give, outfits? Well, obviously, utilizing hotel blocks. So if it yes. is a destination wedding or you're traveling, you should definitely look into the blocks and discounts. Doing homework is always good. And then what about guests at the wedding? Have you ever encountered any guest zillas? Any nightmares um, aside from I, the mother of the bride? I have, but I think it's, I think it's also making sure that your bartenders are not over-serving your guests. That's a big thing. Because we don't oh, want to steal yeah. focus. Thing. I think I'm a guest -zilla. You're a guest -zilla? You're mm -hmm. like, Rose is here. I try to be. How about some thoughts on the non-traditional wedding dress? Mm -hmm. And we're talking like, you know, non-white color, but also how about two grooms, two brides? Like, what, what's happening with I that? think it's up to the couple. Mm -hmm. I love personality in a wedding. So if you want a polka dot dress, why not? Yeah, you know? it's your day. Yeah, if a groom wants to wear a dress, why not? Why not? It's his oh, day, too. Yeah. yeah, he should. What about wearing white to a wedding as a guest? black to a wedding as a guest, and then also what about wearing the same color as the bridesmaid? Again, I, I'm not a big traditional person, however, mm -hmm. I do think that no one should ever wear white. And it's about doing the homework, so if you know where the location is, dress appropriately to where you're going. What are some trends that you're seeing so much of that just really should just mm -hmm. die, and we should just Honestly, end? it's mason jars. <laughs> I had a feeling uh, you were going to say that. Jars. Can we please give Jam their home back? And something I've been seeing a trend in weddings on Instagram specifically are these hashtags, hashtags. that people have. Yes. Is that so they don't have a wedding photographer? Why are there always puns? No, it's, it's like, the what? same thing with the whole social, you know, it's the, the whole social media boom. So it's mm -hmm. changed everything. But, yeah. um, you know, I have a lot of couples that do want cute little hashtags. So, for example, we had Mr. Krause gets a spouse. Oh. You know, things that are cute and, you know, kitschy and yeah. make sense. And again, it's just a great way for guests and for the couple to see what happened that day. 
My you hashtag know. would be, my happiness is over. My actual hashtag is always the wedding planner, never the bride. Oh, I like that, that's good. Oh, who will be a bride? <laughs> Jason, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. I Having feel you. I learned a lot. You, do you feel better? Um, I feel worse, but I feel better prepared. Can you tell our viewers where we can find you? Um, you can find me on refine.com. It's R-H-E-E-F-I-N-E-D, like my last name. Thank you so much, Jason. Thank You've you been so great. much for Thank me. you. <sighs> Gabby, what are you doing? I'm thinking about weddings. No, come, come inside. Don't, Gabby, 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 Gabby.